Nintendo Sports Center. We go over a college football game preview and prediction on one of the big matchups coming up here in week one of this 2021 college football season. And that's going to be between the Notre Dame Fighting Irish and the Florida State Seminoles, two teams of which that I could definitely see having successful seasons coming up here in 2021. We've got Notre Dame on one side, no more Ian Book. It's now up to Jack Cohn, Wisconsin transfer, uh, to lead under center for Notre Dame. As for Florida State, this is a team that I think could be a dark horse in the ACC this upcoming season, especially considering they got UCF transfer Mackenzie Milton at the quarterback position now. So it should be a very interesting matchup between both of these teams and two teams that, once again, I definitely think could be successful teams coming up here in 2021. So that being said, we're going to go ahead and get started with this preview and prediction here today. This matchup will be on Sunday night, September 5th in Tallahassee. So Seminoles are the home team in this matchup. 7:30 p.m. Eastern Time. Spare currently says Notre Dame by seven and a half, so it does have it uh, does have Notre Dame slightly. Over under is 55 and a half, and the ESPN FPI is expecting Notre Dame with a 71.3 percent. So Notre Dame is favored in this matchup, um, certainly not by a lot though. I mean the spread is only seven and a half, so it is expecting a closer game, and so am I. I do think this could be uh, definitely a close matchup with it being in Florida State. I mean, if he was in South Bend, I probably would pick Notre Dame uh, by a good couple of touchdowns. But, I mean, this game is in Florida State, which can be a tough place to play. And also, I mean, once again, the Seminoles are a pretty unpredictable team this upcoming year. I mean, we could see them do very well with Mackenzie Milton. But at the same time, if Mackenzie Milton isn't 100%, uh, we could also see Florida State struggle a bit. But, yeah, serious history for this game. Florida State leads at 6-4. to four. Win streak has Notre Dame by two. Last five, Florida State leads at three to two. So we've seen a pretty split series uh, between Notre Dame and Florida State in the past. Here's your stat comparison for this matchup. Notre Dame's got 33 points per game, or that was what they had last season. These are your 2020 final stats and averages. Notre Dame also had 19 points allowed per game last season. 237 passers per game, 211 rush yards. So overall, this offense was extremely talented last year. Uh, but defensively, they're also pretty good. Don't forget about how they allowed 204 pass yards per game or 117 rush yards. So overall, pretty solid stats out of Notre Dame last season. As for Florida State, the defensive side was a major issue for this team. They had 24 points per game, 38 points allowed per game, which is uh, pretty terrible. And they, they did have 196 pass yards a game, 199 rush yards. And then for yards allowed, 238 passing, 136 on the rushing end so overall statistically notre dame was by far the better team last season but 2021 is a different story i think these teams are a bit closer skill wise um this season in comparison to last year but here's some key points for this matchup of course notre dame was a college role playoff semifinalist in the 2020 season uh they had a 10 and 2 overall record They're, they lost to uh um, of course, in the ACC championship game to Clemson, they also lost their semifinal game. Uh, but this team does not have Ian Book anymore. Ian Book was um, the quarterback for this team for several years. So that's going to be a big change, um, especially at the start of this upcoming season. Jack Cohn is coming in from Wisconsin, though. That is definitely something to watch out for. Uh, Jack Cohn, I like him quite a bit. Um, Wisconsin transfer, he did very well in Madison uh, for a couple of years there until he got injured, didn't play at all last season. But I like him quite a bit. I think he's definitely, um, he definitely has upside heading into the season. Uh, so yeah, for Notre Dame, a few tough losses after 2020, uh, but we still see plenty of potential on both sides of the ball for the Fighting Irish. As for Florida State, this is a team that I think could either uh, boom, but also bust, if that makes sense. I think this team could be very good, but at the same time, their floor is pretty low. Uh, they were 3-6 last year, one of the worst teams in the ACC. And they've been in a drought. I mean, after after they, uh, of course, won a national title back a few years ago, I mean, this team has just not been anywhere near the same level. Uh, but Mackenzie Milton coming in does bring optimism for sure. I think Mackenzie Milton is a very talented quarterback. We just have not seen him ever since he had that major injury back a few years ago. And so uh, it's going to be interesting to see how he does. This is actually one of the more interesting matchups, I'd say, of week one, just because of, I mean, he got two injured quarterbacks or uh, injured quarterbacks in the past going up head to head against each other. I mean, they're both transfer quarterbacks as well. Can't forget about that. So once again, very interesting matchup between both of these teams. And I think Florida State in general, I mean, once again, do not sleep on Florida State. This is a team that could be a potential bull team in 2021. But that being said, let's get to the prediction for this matchup. Notre Dame, Florida State. 
35 to 24 is going to be my prediction. I think Notre Dame does get the win, but it will be closer than what some people are going to are going to be expecting. I think Florida State sticks in this game from the start, um, but we're going to see Notre Dame get the win. I am pretty confident that the Fighting Irish um, do end up winning. Which, if Florida State did win this matchup, watch out for Florida State because. I mean, with Mackenzie Milton, that could be a for real team this upcoming season. And this is going to be our first impression on him. So if he plays well in this first game, I mean, Florida State better. I mean, this is a Florida State team that definitely could uh, be a dark horse in the ACC this upcoming season. I mean, you're, hear, you're hearing all about uh, Clemson and North Carolina and um, Miami as well. But no one's talking about Florida State. So, uh, yeah, definitely be watching out for this team. Halftime score, Notre Dame 17 to 10. Probability is also fighting Irish 70%. So I'm somewhat confident that we see Notre Dame get the win. Um, but I do think it'll be closer than what people are expecting. So uh, don't expect a blowout by any means here if you're a Notre Dame fan. But anyway, that wraps it up for today. Let me know your thoughts and comments below on this game. And I appreciate you guys all watching. Stay tuned for more from All Sports Central. I'll see you guys later.